You think you wouldn't think that rags would be such a limit on me, but they are. It's the number one resource I am lacking. It's so easy to get bullets in this game, even though they're a currency and should be like hoarded, but it's hard to get rags. Just lying about, you'd think. Not so much. EOD is banned. To all staff and students at the University of Oakmont. Henceforth, any mention of everyone's obvious duty organization, also known as EOD, its symbolics, current and or past members, as well as espousing their beliefs, is forbidden on university grounds on pain of dismissal and or expulsion. The administration has received numerous reports of EOD activity and outreach disguised as so-called charity work throughout our, our university and all over Oakmont. This dangerous activity has reached ep epidemic proportions and cannot be tolerated. Administration of the Board of Trustees. L bullets just lying about. D I can't even carry them because I don't have enough pockets in my giant backpack for tiny bullets. How could I ever carry more than like 30? What are you, a wizard? Oh no. That's not alive, is it? Nope. S -s Slow down. Did he glitch out? That was weird. That... I definitely missed that shot. <laughs> as much... As I thought I was hitting the first guy, but I could be wrong. But the second guy, I'm pretty sure I just straight up missed and I got him anyway. Oh, I have two knowledge points. When did those happen? Make my resource gathering as cheap as possible. Lab is clear. I really want an inventory hotkey. It's one of the primary menus I'm trying to open all the time for crafting purposes, but you have to open the map or the other screen and then scroll over to it. I checked the controls earlier and there's only like two menu hotkeys and neither of them are the crafting one. Experiment log, part one. March 2nd. I have finally received a living specimen. Sadly, it's only the smallest one. The grunts call it Mr. Handsome. Ha! <laughs> but I think it needs a proper name. March 3rd. Was thinking about the name for the specimen all night. I've begun a series of experiments on the creature. So far it has proven exceptionally resistant to all the poisonous substances at my disposal. As well as acid and electrocution. It's shrieking, though, is bound to haunt me. March 5th. Last night I had a vision. Thousands of hands wrapped around me as a blanket, and I heard the name inside my head. Stygian Harvester. I suppose it's polite. It told you its real name, and you used it. That's it's just the correct thing to do, right? Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well-funded. Was it the brains? Did I see something that made me my my sanity drop for a second? Yeah, there's the big boy. <laughs> I'm glad this thing is dead. Why do they even keep it here? Doesn't have to. Oh, uh, is that the doctor I'm here to meet? Is he gonna shoot me? <clears throat> are these like all foreshadowing of what's gonna happen? So the problem here is this these are electrodes We know that with electricity you can reanimate that guy. We learned that from the other plot line Experiment log part 2 March 10th with those pesky limitations removed I can finally continue my experiments unhindered. I need to know more the specimen remained alive even with half of its internal organs removed It's fascinating 
I'm on the verge of a breakthrough in biology as we know it. March 15th. I developed a way to reanimate their tissue. Even in one that's been dead for weeks. This is... Monumental. The possibilities of it. The implications. Does this hint at something hidden? Some trait present inside other creatures, perhaps even ourselves? I will need to find volunteers. Uh oh. Oh no. Like these monsters weirdly survive when they shouldn't. What if we could do something about that? What if we figure out how to do that for humans? So what's in here? I wonder what would happen if I press this button. Should I or shouldn't I? Hmm. That button goes to these electrodes. It looks like it's by this door, like it would open this door, but actually it's going to reanimate that guy. So fuck that. I don't think I need to care about the icon right now. It says that I'm not done yet, but I don't think that's relevant. I think the clues are going to come later. Right, I should have shot with that gun. Your lab is certified creature free. Excellent, Mr. Reed. You've done us a great favor. Now we can get things up and running again. Your lab was, uh, interesting. Running experiments on those creatures, what's up with that? Oh, they're fascinating, aren't they? Convincing evidence of new branches in the evolutionary tree. Can you blame us for taking an interest? Maybe not, but so much dead flesh down there, that's going to attract scavengers. Didn't you think about that? Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> well, be more careful in the future. Your point's taken. Okay. I've done my part. Here's the bottle. Now you run those tests. Uh, yes. Wait here. It shouldn't take long. We finished that analysis, sir. It's, well, it's ricin. Ricin? A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow-acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. How can you tell if someone's been poisoned with ricin? The symptoms take several days to develop. At first, it's like a common cold. But over several days, well, it develops into hemorrhage, internal organ failure, and death. It's not a pleasant way to die. So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here. For study, in our poison store. Or we did. I'm afraid that must be where it came from. The label had been tampered with, but it certainly looks like ours. Where did you find it? Ah, <sighs> crime scene. Someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it. This is horrible. I need to warn everyone in the university about this. There's some kind of cure for ricin? I'm afraid not. Once it's in your system, it's a death sentence. Who's got access to where the poison's stored? Only Professor Westerbrook has the key. His office is upstairs, right alongside Professor Cavendish's. Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. Professor Cavendish is away as well, on vacation. And where do they live? I'm not sure, but probably somewhere in Advent. Most of the teaching staff live there. Wait, you don't think it was one of them? I'm working on that. Can you let me upstairs? I... well... <sighs> All right. This is serious. I'll help you. Here's the key. But please don't disturb the professor's things. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you want to know? I want to know more about Westerbrook. He's the head of our department. He's been here for, well, at least 30 years. He's one of the longest serving staff we have. 
As you've already seen, he's particularly interested in the wild beast that recently appeared in our city. Yeah, that's quite the unique fauna you have there. I've no idea how he did it, but Mr. Throgmorton's men brought him live specimens for his research. He thinks he's on the verge of a breakthrough in evolutionary theory. A secret that once revealed will benefit all humankind. <sighs> Some secret should stay buried. Six feet under. You're not a man of science, are you? It's not about why. It's about what if. What can you tell me about Professor Cavendish? He's one of the most brilliant teachers we have here. A PhD at only 25. Just imagine. His biochemistry studies are second to none. Worthy of a Nobel Prize. If he could complete his work. And what's his problem? I don't know. There's some kind of family trouble. It's made him standoffish and irritable. And easily distracted. I hope he gets through whatever he's going through. We need his talent, especially in these dark times. I'll see you later. Everyone's ears perked up. That watched everyone who watched Breaking Bad's ears perked up the moment Ryson was was name dropped. Like, hang on a minute. Mr. Throgmorton. I'd recognize that face anywhere. No reason. So whoever did this name dropped... Westerbrook. So it wasn't Westerbrook, we can rule them out. I think if I remember correctly, the person said that they... that Westerbrook would be mad. So they probably weren't working... they, they probably weren't acting on behalf of Westerbrook either. There's Westerbrook's place. Closed for maintenance. Hmm. Whoever did it probably came from the school. Because the school seems to have an anti-EOD sentiment. So that's like a prime suspect for... ...sabotaging the EOD, which is what you would call it once you poison their, their, their food. And they had access to this building. Authorized personnel only. Note from Professor Westerbrook. This is absurd. It's been five months and they still haven't finished repairing my office. I'm done sitting in the corridor like some kind of waiter. I don't step... I won't step foot into this building again until the works are finished. Or you can give me Cavendish's office. You tell that to the board. I'm through with this farce, Westerbrook. It's also a little worrying that Westerbrook has been sick the last few days. Because... The last... It has a seemingly innocuous sickness it matches up with the ricin. The windows are smashed. They probably smashed the window to Cavendish's office and then broke in. You smash that window and then you can reach in and, and unlock that door. I don't know why they're both broken though. That's a little weird. But yeah, you smash that window, reach in. Oh, they smashed it strangely. Actually, all the glass around the doorway is broken, not just in sp the spot that would matter. Maybe it's an unrelated issue then. Draft of an article. Brothers and sisters, too familiar. My fellow Americans. They are Americans too. Citizens of Oakmont. How much longer will we put up with those fish-faced bat- those sea freak- How much longer will we put up with this- Those K-forsaken degenerates who call themselves the EOD- Okay. It kind of sounds like that Cavendish might have just been the one who outright m tried to murder the EODs. Not even the EOD themselves, but the- like the EODs- The people. Like the people that they try to help. Kind of fucked up. What kind of creature are you, by the way? They seem to have hair, or a headdress, or a scarf, or something. Their body is just kind of some generic naked person. But their head has strange details. I 
I can't tell if it's supposed to look like a fish man or what. Don't touch the professor's things. Whoops. Whoops. These bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. They also say ricin on them, as it turns out. Are you pointing right where I just came from? Oh. Oh. This should be good enough to make a decent copy. Ah, he used a soap block to make a copy of the key of that room, it looks like. Joke's on you guys, I have a shovel. Yeah, I don't need no keys. Padlocks have no power against me, because they're padlocks used on wood. Bloop. Bloop. East Cherry update. Oh, the experiment log. We've se we've seen that. There's a few things here now. Westerbrook has access to the poison, but Cavan just made a, a spare key, so he's the one who did it. George Cavendish, a professor of the Orkmont University, is the poison thief. He made himself a copy of the key to the poison locker. According to a student, he lives somewhere in Advent. So Cavendish is the one who did it, and he might have poisoned Oak, uh, Westerbrook, apparently. The car is afraid of Anna, and there's a secret chamber. A murder chamber? No. Nope. Are any of these relatable at all? Because I don't think they are. Yeah. According to a student, he lives somewhere in Advent. That is not enough to work with. All key evidence. So there's still something to find here. <clears throat> maybe we can find his address in here, in his office. Or maybe I need to go to the... other place, the... Town Hall. Either way, there's something I can find here. But that thing might just be waking up that monster. But I don't want to wake up the monster. But what if it gives me a vital piece of evidence I need for the story? I'm not leaving till I find everything. So if I don't find everything, I guess I'll have to do that. These bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. Fancy that. It might be the last clue, it's just something I can ask that guy. Could just investigate. Springs? You wish to carry more springs, do you? You wish to carry springs, do you? God, I haven't played Dark Souls 2 in a while. The EOD icon seems to be a normal looking eye, but with a bit of a tail on one side to look kind of like a fish. Can you fill me in on Ryson again? Of course. What do you need to know? I'll see you later. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you I'll see I don't think you can update him. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you can have follow-up conversation with that guy using any of the information that I've gained. Not doing great on grenades. All right, well, let's find out the hard way. I'm missing one piece of information. I have a backup heal right here. So very tempting. Yep. Let the record state that I am unsurprised having known exactly what was going to happen.
There we go. New knowledge point for me, and evidence is updated. Cool. What the fuck? Is the KKK worshipping right now? What the fuck? Okay. I'm gonna go over here, because this basement seems to be bad for my sanity at the moment. Just gonna go feel better over here for a bit. Okay. What? God damn it. <laughs> I just... Why'd I do that? There's bullets sitting right there and right over there. For, both for the same gun. <sighs> it's fine. It doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't. It really doesn't matter. My instincts for, to preserve my resources keep coming up. But they don't matter in this game's context because... Resources spawn infinitely. If I want to, I can just re-enter re the same building over and over again. Off camera. And just fill up on items. Because that's how this game works. When I talk about the game lacking layered on systems in its open world to make its open world meaningful and... Every moment more engaging, that's one example of it to an extent, is the fact that like... You don't actually have to care about your resources. It's so like you look at this inventory with the crafting and everything and you, you might have the re reaction of like thinking of like Resident Evil or The Last of Us with like its survival horror mechanics and limited resources and having to make tough choices on the fly. But they applied that to a giant open world non-linear game, which means it's completely pointless. And it would be pointless even in... It would generally be pointless in an open world game because you could just go scavenge for whatever you want by just exploring more of the open world anyway. Which is something that's curbed by Pathologic, because Pathologic does the survival horror elements in open world, but everything takes place under a time limit, which means that you do still have another resource to bargain against. That time limit single-handedly... The, both the time limit of your, of your dwindling hunger and stuff like that, and the actual time limit of the game progressing through the two weeks that the game takes place in, those two mechanics combine to counteract the freedom of the open world by not letting you actually explore it all fully and thoroughly and so on. But this game doesn't even benefit from that kind of thing because in addition to the other stuff, this game... Uh, it just regenerates the same resources if you just go back into the same building a minute later, basically. Which means that, like, nothing matters. You can just trick it into get generating your generating you full num amounts of all the resources some serious equipment they've got here Oakmont University is clearly well funded still missing something <laughs> don't stand in that that's why they put the button so far away right as a safety precaution so that you're not standing in it when it goes off Probably. We've already been through this, but yeah. Brains. Brains. What kind of person would even touch this? And not to mention dissect it. Wait, what? Uh -huh. Well, when I killed the monster, it said, it said evidence collected, so I think I still did have to kill the monster. But that was... That's apparently what I hadn't clicked on. That's a... It's gonna be a big whoopsie for me. Alright. Yep. How do you feel about fisheye cameras? Not there yet. That filled out real quickly. So now I have a 25% chance to just not use the resources or save some of the resources or something when I craft something. So my resources should become all the more easy to manage. I also need to come up with a new goal now. I'll probably just pick all the damage stuff. Might as well. Oh hey, the primary challenging thing in this game is... Let's see. So based on what we've learned, we need to we need to go to the city hall, 
Because now I have two objectives that rely on me finding new information from there, it would appear. Uh, the primary ch challenge in this game so far is the big nightmare grabby boy who tries to eat you, eat you whole. So based on that, I should probably try to find any talents I can that help you specialize in Molotovs and grenades. Making them more effective or more easy to get or carry more of them. And then I'll be more, more equipped to deal with them because right now they, they definitely kind of clear me out. Quid pro quo. Alright. Hopefully this works out. So I have two different objectives to investigate here. Let's look into both quests in parallel. Nope. Nope. The poison thief. <clears throat> Uh, citizens? Citizen records, I guess? Advent. George Walter Cavendish. Born January 26th, 1883. Place of birth, Oakmont, Massachusetts. And residence. Advent Central, St. Michael's Road between Carpenter Street and Constitution Street, Flat 2. Professor of Biology, Department of Medicine, Oakland University, divorced. Oh right, it's it's quest specific. I, sc I had so much to scroll through that I thought that it was scrolling through all of my notes in the entire game, but that's that's just because this quest has a bunch of stops and stages to it, so it now has like a backlog of things in it. Let's go ahead and, okay, so Advent's near, yeah, we're like right there. Uh, St. Michael. St. Michael. It's a Advent, right? Yeah, Advent Central. Between Carpenter and Constitution. Carp Carpenter. Carpenter. It must cross with... Oh, Saint, there's St. Michael. Whoops. I, just, I was missing that somehow. And Constitution. Okay. Gotcha. A little hard to read sideways, I suppose. Now let's look into this. So we're looking for Benjamin Miller in Advent. Uh. Lurk in the Bank of Oakmont lives somewhere in Advent. Why would this not be what I needed? Occupation, okay. I guess we looked it up based on the occupation. I guess it's supposed to be the what the game's claiming I'm doing. Yeah. Date of birth, 1889. Carpenter Street, there you go. We have an address. We have an address to deal with. That was the wrong detail. There we go. Carpenter Street. Carpenter Street. There we are. Oh, that's a bad street. <laughs> Maybe he's over here. Uh, between Benevolent Tides Road and Hawthorne. Benevolent Tides Road and Haw- Oh. He lives over there. That's not a good place to live in. <laughs> You did not luck out, buddy. Alright, sure. Let's go ahead and wrap that one up while I'm here. There we go. Extra, extra. 
X-ray, X-ray, read all about it. What's your problem? Recent plot point happened publicly. Find something you like. Cheaper than the rest. Extra, extra. All the new Should be right through here. And infected zone. Alright. What kind, how much danger is this posed to me? When I'm in a boat. So far, nothing has ever happened to me in a boat. But there's always been the threat, just because I'm in the well, the water, and that's not a good feeling. No, don't point your first aid kit at them. Silly, you silly boy. All right, that added a search mark to it. So bloop. This map's getting dense with these like search building icons. Yeah. Ah, they're, they're quest-specific, I think. Or at least other ones seem to have disappeared, yeah. Hello there. Oh, what's that gonna do? I feel like I should be concerned. Oh, it's an egg. I mean, a key. An egg. <laughs> I don't know why I said egg. I have no idea. Called the Bondulance. I'm having a strong. Note on the door. We're upstairs waiting for you. As always, the key is under the illusion. If we succeed before you return, don't panic. We'll leave the book here. You'll be able to open the portal and follow us. Oh. Oh, where am I? Where'd the portal take me? Yep, the blood stain is consistently a door. Okay, I drained my sanity a little, little fast just now. Ah, bad. Sorry for all the murder. My bad. It's funny, because if they weren't so aggressively murdery when I got here, I might just be like, Huh. What's going on here? But because they insist on attacking me, then it just becomes, well... Hundreds dead. Human enemies are definitely the least interesting option. I kind of welcome the diversity at times, but... You just shoot them in the head, and they just stand still. <laughs> it's very easy to kill humans with guns, as it turns out. Angles of the mind By your humble servant All known forms and shapes are more complex than you dare think my humble student Have you ever tried to look inside a straight line or find the end of a circle? Angles hide entire realms of existence dimensions of utter incongruity Where size is backwards and time is optional and with my help you can open a passage to these places using only the lines and angles of your mind. Euclidean. Non-Euclidean geometry. Oh, there we go. Bleh. You died in a really blevy puddle. The bummer of a location. What are we full on? Springs and parts. Might be able to do something with that. Not sure if I can. I might have already crafted everything. I need rags. Please. Yeah. We're getting we're getting really one sided with my current uh, thresh uh, my current limiting resources. 
I'm about ready to have like everything maxed out and then just have no rags. All right, well, we got the book. Turns out all these books should probably be in like a forbidden section of the library. Like in Game of Thrones and Harry Potter. And home free.